Hey guys, it's Lauren Good with The Verge, reporting from CES, and we're taking a look at Misfit's newest wearable. This is called the Misfit Ray, and the first thing you're going to notice about the Ray, if you're familiar with Misfit's other activity trackers, is that it doesn't have a circular design. This is Misfit's first kind of tubular design here, and it was made this way so that it could sit next to other devices on the wrist, like a wristwatch or a smartwatch, and basically sit flush against it and you wouldn't have to wear two things that have a circular design or a larger display on your wrist. So this is really meant to be kind of an accessory activity tracker that's always been Misfit's value proposition and now that the company is a part of Fossil, they're probably going to be making a lot m more stuff that's in this vein. All right, so let's talk about uh, what this thing actually does. Like a lot of other Misfit trackers, it will track your daily activity levels, it'll track your steps, it will track distances. It doesn't have GPS, but it uses an accelerometer to track distances, and it will um, track your sleep. It shares all that data to Misfit's mobile app. It also works with Misfit Link, which is Misfit's um, separate app for basically controlling a bunch of different stuff um, in the home, smart home products, light bulbs, music, that kind of thing. And it integrates with um, the IFT app so that you can basically program this thing to, let's say you tap it and you want it to do something, it will do that through the IFT in integration. Um, this little LED light here is, is a Misfit's notification system, basically. Misfit doesn't use displays, um, and so this is the way that you get notifications from your smartphone. Um, it also tells you your activity levels. If you tap it and it, it only flashes tw twice, You've maybe, maybe you're halfway to your activity goal. If you tap it and it flashes four times, you're closer to your daily activity goal. And then um, it's basically programmed to show you different colors for different types of notifications. Battery life is always a big thing with wearables and Misfit's value proposition has always been we go long on battery life. They use coin cell batteries. This has three button cell batteries um, that should get you about six months. The Misfit Ray ships in March of this year and this version will cost um, $99, basically $100. Um, this is a sport band, it's a rubber band, so it's a little bit less fancy than a couple other models. You can also buy one with a leather band for $120. So that is the Misfit Ray. In a lot of ways, it's kind of your standard commodity activity tracker in terms of what it can do and what it senses and all of that stuff. But um, you know, Misfit's trying to make something that's a little bit more fashionable than maybe some of the other activity trackers on the market with the idea that if it's not fashionable, you're not going to wear it.